Hastings was founded in 1872 at the intersection of the Burlington and Missouri Railroad and the St. Joseph and Denver City Railroad. It was named in accordance with the railroad's naming system after Thomas D. Hastings, who was the construction engineer for the St. Joseph and Denver City Railroad. English, German, Irish, Danish, and German from Russia immigrants were lured to this area by the railroad companies, which established immigration offices in Europe to encourage settlement along their lines. Flyers and brochures were distributed to promote the new land's positive aspects and sometimes neglected to include the negative ones. The land was desolate and bare, and the settlers faced extreme conditions and hardship. We couldn't walk back, so there was nothing to do but stay. George Wilkes, 1871. The first group to settle in the area that would become Hastings was a group of English immigrants from Liverpool. The first dwellings they erected were dugouts and sod houses built from Nebraska marble and shanties from lumber hauled in from Grand Island 30 miles to the north. Soon others joined them, attracted by the free land provided by the 1862 Homestead Act. During the 1870s, Nebraska, which had attained statehood in 1867, for the first time became a destination instead of just a highway to the west. The Homestead Act allowed a U.S. citizen to claim up to 160 acres of land by settling on and improving the property for five years. Under this act, soldiers could deduct up to four of the five years. One such veteran was Samuel Alexander. After being discharged from the Army in 1866, Alexander ended up in Lincoln, Nebraska. In 1872, he was the janitor of the first state capitol building when he took the suggestion of Nebraska Secretary of State Thomas Kennard and participated in the Soldiers' Homestead Act. Why did we come here? To make ourselves homes? We had the right to. 160 acres by improving it and paying a small registration fee, which was a small sum. A farm in Adams County of 160 acres is now worth $20,000. So you see, it pays to take the land that Uncle Sam gives to us. Samuel Alexander, 19...